Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to the Bed with Behini podcast. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a tennis subscriber, hey boo. Thank you so much for always coming back. I love you so much. My name is Akusia Behini. I don't know if I already said that, but my name is Akusia Behini. So um, a little life update. So I decided to put um the podcast in some sort of like segments you know you know so um i want to do like a life update and then i'll do a recap and you guys will see what i'm talking about um, just a little bit of a life update i am taking an online class which is taking a lot out of me i'm not gonna lie it needs a lot of dedication um but i love it for myself because i'm growing in the way that i need to grow so that's a little bit of a life update um and then also a recap on what we did last week you know i spoke a lot about self-care so if you haven't watched that video i talked about self-care um especially self-care as a millennial mom and my just generally my view and how i have helped myself or cared for myself as a mom so i will link that episode down below for you guys if you haven't already seen that but in today's episode we're talking everything okay i'm actually really excited about today's episode because i'm talking about i think i want to say i'm talking about what i would say to a younger version of myself if i were to have a conversation with her right now like what would i say to younger akusia like sit down right now and let's have a conversation you know how you know like i'm asking you what would you say to a younger version of yourself if you were to talk to them like I was thinking about that like I've been thinking about that for the past few weeks and I'm like there's a lot of things that I would have told that girl you know there's a lot of things because the mindset was definitely different um, when I was growing up and I wrote a lot of things on my phone obviously everything that comes to mind I just put it in my notes because I definitely want to be able to share with you guys um, but there's a lot of things that if I were to meet a younger version of myself like I, I, there's, a, there's there's gonna be a conversation there's gonna be a conversation okay but before i get into it i want to ask you comment below what is that one thing that you would tell a younger version of yourself if you were to talk to them if it's five comments write it all down below let me know um but the first thing that i would say to a younger version of me younger akusia would be stop overthinking everything goodness stop over and i think even older akusia still does but a younger me was worse like i feel like i missed out on so many life opportunities because i just was too much in my head about things and growing up i have come to realize that sometimes you literally just have to take risk in life okay sometimes you literally just have to do it you have to go for it and sometimes it's so hard to say that or even the thoughts of it you know the thoughts of you know what if it doesn't go well or what if it's not for me or what if people um you know what if people ridicule me you know all of these kind of things when you think about them but growing up i've come to realize that all those things don't matter because it's about you so stop overthinking everything and just go for it literally that is my first point and that is the first thing that i'll say to a younger version of me okay and then the second thing that i have here i say that appreciate your body because in a few years your body is going to change so much that you're not even going to recognize what she looks like and it's so funny that i say that um because when i was growing up it's crazy that i thought that my body was imperfect because right now <laughs> It's far from perfect. <laughs> I have to drink water because this is insane. And this video definitely is dedicated to every young person out there. Okay every young person out there i feel like needs to hear the things that i would say to a younger version of me so that's why i'm doing the video if you're young um if you're and when i say young because i am almost like i am in my i'm 28 okay i'm not like old old but i'm not a gen z 
and a lot of Gen Z's on the market right now. So um, I guess this video is going out to, you know, I have a five year old child and when she's like 10 or 12 or 15, I want her to see this video. You know what I'm saying? So um, my next, my second point again is accept your body, you know, love yourself, love the body that you're in right now um, because when you grow when you have kids you know all of those things will alter your body so much that you might not even recognize the body that you're living in and you start to deal with like self-identity and like you know stuff like that so imagine if you're not actually accepting your body at a younger age and you give birth like right now i have two kids and my stomach my me like me, me my stomach is crumbly <laughs> <laughs> like my stomach is crumbly it's, it looks literally like my mom's um belly when when i was when i was young and i was looking at her and laughing at her and saying my belly would yeah see yes <laughs> when you have kids it literally alters your whole physical being and especially as a woman you know and if you're not like someone who is like self-confidence and you know self-confident confidence confidence yeah <laughs> you know if you're not someone who has confidence in yourself you don't have like that self-esteem and everything you will be worse that's all i want to say you'll be worse you know and i've had to deal with that so much so that right now i'm happy that i'm in a place where my mentality is like i had kids and my body looks like this because i did that not because you know i did a bad thing it was a good thing so that's just all i'm trying to say accept yourself love the body that you're in love the skin that you're in because when you grow up you're going to regret you know using all of those creams that you didn't need doing all of those things that you didn't actually need to do relax okay just relax that's all i want to say relax and my next point i feel like a lot of people are going to relate but i say here that stop worrying about relationships and thinking that you're not enough because the right person will find you at the right time and this is so true i feel like we spend or maybe let me say i spent majority of my young age thinking so much about you know having to be in a relationship having to be in a right relationship looking for a right man what business did i have looking for a right man at you know like at 18 19 like what business do you have 20 21 relax chill go out with your friends have fun you don't waste your i feel like i want to scream this into my microphone and my microphone is just here so i can't scream <laughs> but no i see enjoy your young age okay enjoy your young age because marriage is forever if you happen to be with somebody that you actually really like marriage is a long-term thing let me not say forever it's a let me not say forever no forever is not a good word marriage is a long-term thing okay marriage is something that you guys are going to be in for a good time so why are you wasting all of your young age trying to look for a long-term relationship i know that a lot of people like you know that companionship and i respect that i respect everybody's decision that they try to make for their lives but all i'm trying to say is when you get married you obviously have that someone that you're going to do lifetime with why are you still trying to do marital stuff when you're just 20 no you don't need to do stuff like that relax have fun if you have a boyfriend you guys should do boyfriend and girlfriend stuff like just be basic you know like just be children like go to the park do children stuff don't go be washing dishes and cooking no 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 like no i regret having to ever do that for any guy that i did that for before getting married because that's all i do right now <laughs> That is literally all I do right now. You know, like that is literally all you're gonna do when you get married. So to my young people, when I say young, obviously from like a legal age that you can be in a relationship. Right now, they who, who can even say what a legal age for a relationship is? I'm not sure about that. I'm not coming to advise you, but I'm just saying, have fun, have have fun, okay? Have fun. Be young. Um, be adventurous. Do all the things that young people would do. 
um, because when you eventually get married, um, start to have kids and everything, life is very different. I have kids. I can't just up and out. I have to think about what is my kid going to do? What is she eating? Is she okay? Um, do they have food at home before I leave the house? You know, you're not that single person again. And it's a lot of like thinking and planning. And when you're young and when you don't have all of this, that is when you can have fun and get to know yourself as a person. So I'm going to say this because now I'm married. My husband is also, I mean, like I'm going to, I was going to say my husband is also married. Like, what am I saying? like now i'm married i've had i have two kids but i'm still learning about myself because i'm still very young you know what i'm saying so learn a lot about yourself you know have fun do all the things that you you know a young person would do be safe um and then eventually the person that you're supposed to be with for life will find you when you're ready that person will find you you will find the person the vibe will just be there it would literally just flow it will not be stressful so don't stress about really i i, I just i'm so mad a younger version of me for thinking and stressing and wasting time on relationships that i didn't even have to be in situationships all of those things no you don't need it you legit don't need it my so, next point which happens to be my third point or my third thing that i guess i'll tell myself is um relax okay i guess that's not really a point but just relax okay like relax adulting is actually really harder <laughs> that's all i want to say adulthood will have you tired stressed um mentally out and everything so relax you're 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 20 and you think you're stressed <laughs> no you're not there's actually big stress ahead of you it's not a big point but i just want to say relax okay like relax and relax. my next point uh, my next thing that i would say to a younger version of myself which is something that keeps happening every single um, almost every single day you know is never say never because you know some things that you never thought that you would do or never thought that you would try you know like just never say never because when you grow up you try a lot of things that you actually never thought that you would try when you're young you know because i know that a lot of things that i said to myself i would never do this like I, you would never see me do this i don't think i would ever do this well i'm doing it now i do a lot of them now so that's that's just all i want to say <laughs> that's just all i want to say i'm such a home baby now i never thought i would be that person um i you know like so many things that i never thought that i would be um i am or i am being or i'm trying or i'm doing like i've become more adventurous than i actually thought that i would be you know um so i'm just saying never never say never because a lot of things you actually would do when you grow up so yeah that's all i want to say <laughs> and this next point is a little touchy feely for me <laughs> this next point um or this next thing that i'll say to my a younger version of me would be try to spend a lot of time with your parents or with your mom i mean to me i'll say with your mom because um in a few years she's not going to be around again and that's very emotional for me to actually say that because it's so true that you know i regret not spending so much time with my mom when i was young like when i was out of high school you know um i was so busy trying to be a young girl be out there you know have fun yes when i look back i'm so mad at myself that i didn't take a lot of pictures you know just generally creates a lot of memories with my mom because now that she's not here um i you know want to sometimes look back and there's nothing to look back there's literally nothing and it's so sad for me to actually say that but yeah that's the truth like my mom did not like my mom passed away before the time where social media became very loud back home in ghana um so 
I, I don't think I was really, really on social media at the time. I think I was, but, you know, there wasn't anything like influencing and like posting your mom. And like, it wasn't really anything like that. You know, it was just having fun, like young people lifestyle. And I was just having fun doing stupid young people stuff. And I'm so mad at myself because I should have actually spent time with my mom. I should have taken photos and like made memories, videos. That's nothing. That's nothing. And so... What I want to say is um, spend time with your, your loved ones, especially your mom, because the bond that you hold with your moms are so tight and um, it's so personal that sometimes you you feel like it's just a mere relationship. You know, sometimes it's because we see them every day. They're around us every day. You hear from them every day. You don't feel the essence of the relationship until they're actually not there you don't feel how much um um you need them a lot in your life you don't you don't you don't think about all these things you know why is my nose itchy sometimes you don't think about you know the essence of the relationship or how deep the relationship is or how much your mom's relationship with you actually affects your life or you know her absence might affect your life you don't think about stuff like that i, I just think generally with everybody you don't think about how um important they are till they're not around you again so spend time with the people that you have around you people actually show you love spend time with them and then i mean just generally your parents your mom your dad you know be grateful for them every day show them love show them appreciation and everything because when they are not there it's not nice so that's all i want to say it's not nice okay um my next or my you know my last but not the least thing that i'll say to myself is you know take advice from people a lot of people will give you advice take advice from people but just never change who you are for anybody or you know or for anything that you see or like just be who you are and i'm saying that because i feel like if especially, I, especially with my social media um when i started out as a social media content creator I, I feel like i had so much energy and so much zeal um i was out there i was an open book and everything and people would always you know people would always say stuff like oh you're doing too much because obviously i lived in ghana so that was doing too much because you know my phone telling me that it's time for me to sleep you know but obviously because in ghana as a young person that would come across as doing so much because um, i was doing internet radio at the time i had a snapchat radio at the time i said this so many times it's insane i had a blog which was bad with behini the same name of i mean my blog was literally this um and then i was on instagram and then i had my youtube so i was literally all over the place um and in ghana you know for people that was you're doing too much you are all over the place you're doing too much you're, you talk too much you do too many instagram stories people would literally tell tell me um your stories are so long but now that's what influencers are doing right that's what people are doing we follow people's lifestyle we watch people on youtube like for hours that's literally what people do and i stopped being that person because i felt like oh maybe i don't want to be too much maybe i don't want to be in too many you know like and i am so mad at myself because now having to pick up that whole attitude again is just a lot for me because i have so much on my plate and I don't have the energy always to be too much or to be in people's faces every day or to be doing a lot of Instagram stories. It's just life be life in sometimes and adulting is adulting sometimes, you know. So I wish that I had done a lot more of that when I was younger because then it would have helped me grow myself as a person and my platforms even before, you know, this age and like even before getting married and like, you know having kids and everything because then i wouldn't have to struggle with my platforms and like you know just generally creating content because right now i have a lot on my plate you know so 
I guess just generally all I'm trying to say to a younger version of me is do everything that you want to do try everything that you want to try don't be scared to take risk um, you know take care of yourself learn about yourself educate yourself um, you know spend time with yourself um, another point which I guess would be my last point is you know just try to build healthy friendships or relationships um not with men like friendships is what i'm saying friendships um build healthy friendships apologize when you have to because trying to build friendships as an adult is stressful it's so stressful because nobody's checking in on nobody everybody feels too big to be the first person to text unless you have an actual real person who you know you know what i'm saying like um nobody is taking responsibility for anything like adult friendships is just a whole nother thing it's way easier when you're a kid because you guys have to like meet up and do things without having to call each other because you go to school together you know go to classes together go to church together but when you're grown you barely do stuff like that again so you have to actually make the efforts and it's hard so i would say that build healthy relationships or healthy friendships when you're young so that you can carry them into your, your older age sometimes some will fall off that's fine but you know try to keep up with you know the ones that you're able to keep up with and when you're growing grow with the friendship you know mature your friendship as you mature as a person um, i don't want to go on and on and on um but these are just a few things that i had i had on my notepad i had told myself that this is what I feel like I would tell myself as a young person if I had to I feel like there's a lot more that if given time um, and opportunity I definitely would have a lot more to say but obviously it's a video so I want to make it nice and cute and short for you guys but before I go comment below let me know what is that one thing that you would tell yourself um, if I mean you would tell a younger version of yourself if you, you guys were to have a conversation today what would you say um and um i guess yeah anything that you want to say anything that you will tell a younger version of yourself and again i'm hoping that this video reaches the younger generation that need to hear this you know anybody that's younger than me that feels like they're in some sort of a rut you know dealing with teenage life um you know just balancing relationship as a 20 year old at you know 15 i don't know no 15 is bad no bad <laughs> you know balancing relationships as a gen z in general um or just balancing life in general i hope that this reaches you and yeah i am gonna go away now follow me on instagram or just all social media platforms at akosia behini um subscribe to the channel bed with behini comes up every week so don't be you know hit the bell button so you don't miss any episode check out previous episodes if you haven't already checked um that out i'm gonna go away now i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one virtual hacks you guys know virtual hacks every day <laughs> bye